Virgo, in your mind's energy, we have got polarity coming up for you. With the polarity, there seems to be conflicting energies with inside of you, meaning that you may be feeling as if you should be feeling a certain way, but you are feeling another way. Um, it's almost like having the dark and the light come together, but you may be denying some side of an energy that you're carrying, and this is going on in your mind. So these could be thoughts that you are thinking. It says polarity, integrate your shadow side. I've got a very strong feeling that it's almost like you're trying to deny something or you're trying to push something away that may not be so positive, but it keeps on coming back to you again and again and again. <clears throat> there cannot be no light without darkness. Understand the law of polarity. I keep coming back to the very same feeling, almost as if you feel as if you should be feeling a certain way, but then it's, it's like... You know, you should be feeling grateful, but for some reason, it's like you're not feeling grateful. You should be feeling happy right now, but for some reason, you're not feeling happy. Or maybe it's the opposite. Maybe you should be feeling as if things are really not going your way, but for some reason, you have hope. And it's almost like these opposite energies that are happening inside of you. And you may be having a battle in your mind, sort of going... Um, I should be happy right now. Why am I feeling so funny? Why don't I like, why am I not liking what I'm experiencing? There's something going on here about the polarities inside of you. And it's almost as if they're not really working together. It's like they're clashing because they're so opposite to each other. It's like you should be blessed right now. You know, look at all you have achieved. Look at everything you have in your life. But something doesn't seem right to you. And it's almost like you're pushing that away and you're going, why should I be ungrateful for what I have? Or why should I be restless at this moment in time when I should not be? I've achieved something and now I am not happy about it. Do you know what I mean? Or I should, it's like, an, it almost feels like the thought in your mind is your enemy in some kind of way, as if you're denying some part of yourself here. It's a very interesting energy. We're going to go into a cultic cross and see what's going on here. Um, in the heart, oh boy, we've got ancient, awakening ancient wisdom. Deep inner knowing is emerging within me. So this is now talking about the heart energy and this is what we cannot deny. The heart speaks louder than the mind because this could also be what is bringing up this conflicting energy that I pick up in your mind. Um, it's almost like a certain part of your mind could be listening to your heart. There could be knowledge that you are gaining. You could even be actively seeking knowledge, becoming a wisdom keeper, um, uncovering mysteries about life and about everything around you. And I think I can actually see what is going on here. I wasn't sure when I first, when we first took the cards out, me and my spirit guides, where we were going here, but I think I actually see what's going on. Um, to me, this feels like, everyday life for you it feels like the reality in which you live in and you do everything that you're meant to do so you have a nine to five or whatever it is you're doing and you're doing it and you should be grateful because it's supporting you and your life but as you are on this journey Virgo um, of learning and understanding or even maybe something that's just awakening inside of you especially at the time that we are living in right now I almost feel like you you feel as if something doesn't fit or things are not the way they're meant to be. It's like you're awakening from the matrix, you know what I mean? You're, you're awakening and you're seeing reality for what it is and you're going, but I'm good in my reality in any way which that can be. I've got things under control, but something is just not sitting right here. It's almost like you're going, is this how it's supposed to be? Is this what life is meant to be? And it's because of the awakening that is happening inside of you. It's making you question everything else around you. All your relationships, the way you live your life, um, what you thought was important before. And you may be going, is, it actually, is this actually it? This is a very interesting energy. In the soul, we've got achievement. Effort plus intention. And I feel like this is where you actually coming from. I feel like this is your energy and what, how you were born, you know. And all of a sudden, this may not be exactly what you think it to be. 
maybe there was a way of life that you've been living. And now that you've gotten yourself to a place where, okay, I've got my life going, I've achieved A, B, and C. This is everything I ever wished for, or at least some of it. Um, and you know, effort plus intention, this is what it takes to succeed. Being Virgo, I do believe this is in your soul's energy. That you know, if you put that intention there and you put the action behind it, I will succeed. And it's almost like you've, you've somehow gotten yourself to a place where, yes, you are now there. But I feel this polarity shows up as this energy of, yes, I'm there. But now what? <laughs> now what's, now I've gotten myself here and it maybe doesn't feel exactly the way I thought it would feel. So there's a very strong energy almost of like, um, I should be grateful. Why am I not feeling grateful? <laughs> you know what I mean? This comes up quite strongly in this reading. And I feel like there's so much more to life than what you have been thinking. I feel like there's a lot going on in your energy. I feel like there's a lot still going to be shown to you about life and about where you are going here. There's definitely something awakening inside of you. And I think it wants to show you more than what you have currently seen, more than what you have currently experienced in this life. And this is bringing about this kind of like restless energy um, that I'm picking up from the mind here. So let's get into this for you. We're starting off by looking at your energy. Here it is. It is the hangman showing up there. It fell down onto the table, Virgo. That is that feeling. It's that feeling of I should be okay, but my soul or some part of me is just kind of like in a limbo state or weird or off in some kind of way. And this shows up here. Remember, the hangman is a card of enlightenment. So it's almost like you, I feel like you're not, I feel like for some of you guys, you've already arrived where you want to be, or you're getting your life to the place where you went, this is what I, I always wanted. And I'm on my way there. I can see myself getting there. But on this journey, it's almost as if every achievement you take off from your bucket list, um, it's like you say to yourself, like, why am I still feeling like I haven't arrived? Why do I feel like I'm not yet fulfilled? There's a very strange feeling. Let's see what crosses you. Ten of Swords. <laughs> there's definitely something off here with this energy. Um, there's an energy because this is crossing your, your hangman. And that's your energy waiting to see what you're supposed to see. But there's a Ten of Swords here. It's almost like you thought maybe something would change um, inside of you. Once you achieve A, B, and C, once you get the big house, once you uh, get the career success, or you're even on the way to it, you know, it's almost like whatever you would, your goals were, you, you're getting to each one of those goals. But then you get there and it's like, um, why have I still got the Ten of Swords in my energy? Why don't I feel like I've ever arrived anywhere? It's very interesting. So let's look at your past now. Ten of, Ten of Pentacles. There you go. <laughs> so this is either part of what this is, the achievement, effort plus intention. Um, either you have already gotten yourself like to the Ten of Pentacles, whatever that means to you, whatever kind of success that is, be it a business, your career, your home, uh, your life in general, but it's something, some kind of goals that have been reached here. And I do see you have gotten some kind of success here in your life um, in the recent past year. There's something definitely worth you being proud about, you know. Um, so yes, you got that. Let's check now, the, this is quite far back in the past. Let's look at the recent past. Wheel of Fortune. So you letting life take you now. It's almost like recently events could have also been taking place as well. Um, I feel like the effort that you've been putting in, it, it's a lot, but a lot of things have fallen into place for you as well. Bearing in mind, we do have the Wheel of the Year showing up here, which is the Wheel of the Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. Um, Certain events moving forward here are definitely going to kind of be out of your control. And you may have also been feeling as of recently, um, over the next six past six months maybe, that certain things um, are sort of going a bit strange or not the way you thought it would go, or it's just somehow off in some kind of way, which is very interesting. Okay, let's have a look at the future. The Hierophant, you got the High Priest coming into here, which is Taurus's energy. Let's go back to the card of the heart. Awakening ancient wisdom is aligning with the Hierophant. 
So what we are looking at here right now is a lot of new information coming into you. I, without a doubt, do feel that you are on some kind of journey here of the soul, of the mind. And as you are moving on this journey, it's almost like you, you have, the more you learn, the more you understand, and the more nothing makes sense anymore in the real world, in the outer world uh, that you're experiencing. So there's a lot of confusion coming in here. The more you understand about life, the more you look at all your previous goals and dreams and understanding and kind of go, is this as important as I thought it would be? Um, why don't I feel the way I thought I would feel being here? So let's look at an outcome here for you. Events are going to go out of their control. Okay, there is certain events here. Very fast moving. We have to look and see what's happening on this table. I feel like we are tied here to this wheel of fortune that lies right be underneath it between your energy in the middle. There is a lot of events that are going to be happening here. And I feel like the past six months is the beginning of these events. The past six months is the beginning of certain events here that are going to be taking place in your life um, that is going to really maybe give you a greater understanding. Now the problem is with understanding. We cannot look at life in a very um, in-the-box energy. There is no one truth in this world. There are many truths depending on where you are, what you're experiencing, what you're meant to learn. And sometimes we grow up with an understanding or a, a belief that we carry. It may not even be passed on culturally or in a family belief system. It can be your own belief that you carry. Remember what it says here, achievement is something that I can rate my life on. And it's, it's something that you have in you and you go, this is what I believe. This is what I believe. And then all of a sudden, this awakening begins to happen inside of you. It shows up here in the hangman as well. The hierophant showing up here again. When the awakening happens and all of a sudden you start getting more information, you start understanding things differently, all of a sudden, what you did believe before may not make sense anymore. And that can bring about a lot of confusion. I thought this was the goal. I thought this was the reason. Now, what is going on now? So it feels to me like a lot of um, sort of like trying to understand this new reality that I'm stepping into. And do remember, we are stepping into a new reality as we speak right now. As we talk to you, my spirit guides and I, you are stepping into a brand new reality. This reality has been coming in um, since the year 2012. <laughs> People thought, oh, 2012 is going to be the end. Yes, it was the end. And this is our transitioning period into something new. And we are stepping into what some people call a new earth or another dimension or whatever you will call it. Um, it is very confusing at this time and there's a lot of polarities going on because of the ancient wisdom that is getting reawakened. New understandings that are coming in. Nothing makes sense anymore. And this is the kind of feeling that I feel you are in. What you need to know is this is present in your reading. Okay, so there is going to be events unfolding here for you that is going to take you somewhere where in the future you are going to have a very deep understanding. And that's all you need. Because knowledge equals wisdom. Wisdom equals right choices. And this just a deeper understanding about life coming in here. So let's see what it is that you want. You want justice, <laughs> you want fair, fairness, you got Libra in your reading, you got Taurus in your reading. You want justice here for yourself in your life. But I feel like at this moment in time, it's almost like more than achieving something. I feel like you want to have balance in your life again because you've got the justice card with Libra coming in. Scales of balance is there. You want things to unfold in the right way for you. I feel like right now, more than anything, you want what is right over maybe what you can achieve um because let me tell you you will get that and you still won't be okay you're still going to be there it does it can solve all the material problems but it will not solve any internal problems or any feelings will, will any it won't do anything you can have a uh, two five million dollars tomorrow morning and in a month's time your whole life can be completely different and you will still wake up 
wherever you are in your mansion, in your yacht, in your fancy hotel or whatever, and you will still be the person you were before that came in. For some of you, you've already discovered that. Okay, so this justice energy shows like you want what is right for you. You want what will move you forward and change your life in such a way that you feel like you are where you are meant to be, which is good. Let's have a look and see how other people are seeing you right now. Very successful. They see you as being able to achieve anything. This is the image that you give off, the world card. Virgo, am I surprised? No, not at all. Um, the, the world card means whatever you can think. Achievement. Ten of Pentacles. Whatever you can think. Whatever you want to manifest, they know you can do it. So you're a force to be reckoned with in the eyes of people. For others ar around you as well, they may look at you as somebody who has already achieved so much. You've already achieved so much. You, you're successful in life already. Little do they know. <laughs> okay, I think, yes, you can look in your life and go, yeah, I, I think I'm getting somewhere here. But something is seeming off. And I think as I can see the cards laying out here on the table, you are going to uh, understand. You are going very rapidly to this deep, deep understanding here about life. And I think because of that, you may even rewrite some of what you want to achieve, you know. So let's have a look and see what it is that you fear. Dreams not coming true, missing the boat. Not achieving what it is you want to achieve. Immediately I heard Spirit Guide saying, missing the boat. Like This is a card of dreams. So we're looking at Aquarius' energy. And with this coming in here, this is all tied to um, the goals and dreams that you've always carried. And the goals and dreams that you may now still be carrying in the future. And I feel like if this is what you fear the most, you feel, you remember what's in your, in your soul. It is achievement. So your biggest fear is that you do not achieve those goals each one of those stars represents something that you want to achieve and it's like my biggest fear is that i don't achieve these things um it's very interesting i'm just going to say it's also about the journey as well it's not just about achieving there's always going to be a star card in our life there will always be another goal another thing and it should be um, you never get somewhere and you get there and then you've arrived and then your life is perfect. It's, it cannot be because we live on Mother Earth, okay? So our Mother Gaia, she is going to, she is going to want us to grow continuously. You remember the, it shows up here even in the world card for you. She's going to want us to grow. She's going to want us to evolve and move to another level over and over again as she does. She's constantly evolving. She's constantly releasing species of animals and kind of things that happen in nature that she doesn't need anymore. She changes and evolves. And I think your dreams and your hopes will evolve and change as you do. Okay, so let's have a look and see. And if you're wondering why am I not happy or why do I feel so funny, even though I've gotten something that I've always wanted, um, it's because there's something else now waiting. Let's see what, what you should do, what action you should take. Five of Wands, you're going to have to look into all this very specific things in your life that you kind of like don't like right now. I think this kind of like, I'm hearing Spirit Guides say deep reflection. So it's almost like they're saying we have to go kind of deep here into this energy to look at exactly what it is that is really not making you happy. The Five of Wands to me is a card of... Um, solving problems. It's a card of seeking solutions to things that we don't like. Five of Wands can be the niggling little things that pop up every single day in our lives, um, people, situations, things that we don't like. And each one of these Five of Wands must find a solution so that our life can change. And this is your advice here. Start looking at when you wake up in the morning, what is the thing that makes you go, okay, I don't like that? Oh, I don't feel like this, or this is what irritates me. And start looking at how you can change those things. There we go. I think you will definitely get it right because you're full of achievement anyway. I definitely feel you will. Under the deck, we've got a six of swords, which is a representation of spirit guiding you and taking you to where you're meant to be. I do feel like this is really tied up with that eight of wands, the wheel of fortune. 
I do, I feel like this is so tied up with this energy, having to have faith in the journey that you're on and it is taking you where you're meant to be. So this is very strong for me. Whatever is going on here, you are being moved some way where I feel like you're being moved to exactly what it is you want to have. Not just the image of what you want or what other people will see you as being. It's more about more what you want right now. And I feel like you're going to figure out how to get there with the help of your spirit guides. The main energy is action you should be taking. Look at what it is that's troubling you. And see in your everyday life, like maybe you're living in a big city and the traffic is so hectic for you and you get in that car and every day you drive that car back and forth and you're just like, it, it's so soul draining. You know what I mean? Then maybe you should think of maybe relocating to a smaller town or city that's not so hectic. Start a carpool, take a break from driving. You know, that kind of thing is catch a train. It's good. Get an Uber or a Bolt or whatever you're going to do. In my country, it's Bolt and Uber. So get something going that you can have that break away from that kind of energy. And I feel like one by one, as you start looking to solutions to, that was just an example, solutions to some things that you can find, it's how you're actually going to change this energy to be what you want it to be. And it's okay, because I'm hearing Spirit God say, it's okay to evolve and even outgrow some of the things you thought were really important to you and have new goals and new dreams that will lead you onto your next chapter in your life. There we go, Virgo. Thank you so much for being here. I will see you next time. Bye.